every every console known to man. That's perfect. So I've been noticing uh, as a gamer girl.
been, you know, those immature yeah. male gamers who pick on. You know what? I think with this, uh, it happened ever since, like, I kind of with uh, comics and uh, gaming has become a part of pop culture, and it's like a huge thing now. So everyone that you like, to be like, whoa, you like comics too, like the jock or nerd. Everyone's like, oh, like they're all a part of this now, and it's a cool thing to do. So um, I find that the girls who were there at the beginning. There's like this huge competition vibe, like, I guess, because there's like all these fan page, uh, pages too I've seen on Facebook, like, of girls, like, oh, I play this, and like, I'm game with me, and like, their scores told crap. Rogue here was like number three in the world, okay, for Halo. Halo Wars, Halo Wars, and what else? Um, 340 something for Top Gun Nothing. And then the one person that does 
bought the limited edition of Battlefield 3. I was expecting a lot. That's the one I bought. I had to download Origin to download Battlefield 3. Okay, so you bought a used copy of Battlefield 3? No, a limited edition of Battlefield 3. I bought a used copy of Battlefield 3, and I guess EA and his club is putting their hands in pockets now. Since I bought the used copy, it didn't come with an online pass, so I had to go and spend 10 bucks to get my new Microsoft points just so I could play it online. Let's not turn this into console wars, please.
you go for a guy, even though it's like a stupid logic, it's like no matter what, you're still being protected and it's a fake thing, it's like not real. But whatever, if you want to masquerade as a chick and get free stuff, why not? <laughs> I was going to say something, but then that sounds totally like, never mind. Because I was going to be like, well, because they're going to be giving a good name to chicks, if they're like really good players, it's like, woo, like girls look really awesome, but what am I saying? Uh, we're equal. <laughs> Whoa, get out of my head. Say. It's like fucking, like, cool <laughs> magazine and all that crap. Still. Anyone else? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to say that I was playing Guild Wars, and I picked the female character because I, I like the Armor and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, I, I don't lead anyone on. I don't pretend to be a girl. <laughs> but I have to say, there was a couple of guys <laughs> who definitely gave me free stuff. See? And I didn't have to say anything. <laughs> I felt it. I felt the, the power. And I didn't tell them anything. I just, you know, I mean, who am I to mess with their, uh, what they think is right, right? I just, I just it's like girls actually have pillow fights. It's a right? real thing. It's I real thing. Well, it's like, it's not like they can take it back once they give it to you. <laughs> well, another thing with that too, especially with like online games, especially if you're like a teenager and you pick a chick character, the camera's always panning to their butt. Like we're always watching them run, so that's another reason why maybe a teenage boy like, won't pick that. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, or an adult, whatever. That's hilarious. That's too funny. Yes, sir. Favorite video games, like number one, all favorites. Okay, uh, Mortal Kombat 3, MK vs DCU, uh, Killer Instinct, Double Dragon, uh, Crossfire, Rambo, and First Assassin's Creed. What else do I think? I'm like, are they all tied for first? <laughs> yeah, they're all tied. Yeah, can't just pick one. Pick one. <laughs> no, 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 first. Sorry. And uh, blah, you, your turn. Uh, in order. Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, <laughs> Halo Wars, Halo <laughs> Man. Okay, so Halo 3, Skyrim, Bioshock, Tomb Raider. Oh, and Alex. Alex was a really good Dragon Age. Dragon Age, Dragon Age yeah, was good. Awesome. Uh, Dog Batman, Dragon Arkham Dogma. City. Arkham City. Yeah. Oh, man. Street Fighter. Marvel vs. Capcom. Need for Speed. Sega GT 2002. None of you guys remember that? No. Blood <laughs> with Xbox. Yeah, that was fun. Great Yeah. What else do I have? I have a lot of them. 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 I played that six times through across three different platforms. And did you ever get like your health bar all the way across? Uh, well, it's just a number in that one. It's not like a meter in, in that game. Is it bad that if I'm playing the X2 is my favorite because the chicks are really hot? X, X, <laughs> see, X2 and X are a weird thing because X had good story, but X2 had the better gameplay. It's true, it did. Yeah, like it had a really interesting class player. system. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Ladies, heard about the bill that they're trying to pass in the U.S. right now, where every single video game that wants to be released has to have a ES ESRB rating. Even though ESRB is not a government company, you have to pay them to put a sticker on your. Oh, to put a rating on your video. Yeah, yeah. That's really that means dumb. this. That means indie gaming. The entire bandwagon for indie gaming is going to be destroyed. Oh, yeah. Steam, oh, yeah, oh, like, oh, oh, destroyed. That's terrible. Um, yeah, but um, I don't think it would go through either because it kind of violates the first and then the What made them? Why do they want to do this? Um, ESRB is jackass. <laughs> Besides the obvious. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of, it, it ties into the acts of uh, trying to get uh, less violence in video games. Like, right. like you know, there's, there's been tons of statistical studies on whether there's a correlation between violence in video games and like, actual you know, suicide attempts and yeah. murders and crime rates and like that. Usually the correlation is like so low. So, like, I fully agree. 
They even do that with metal music. They're like, if a kid listens to like yeah. death metal, no. it's always yeah. like, like, like this. Like, it has to be rock music and stuff like this. So, do you, do you girls eat like? That's the first time I'm hearing about that. Yeah, that's, I didn't it, it's, that's it's up and coming. It's up and coming. I heard about it like two weeks ago, yeah. but like. I'm pretty sure, like, there is, like, a pretty large gaming community that they will be able to shut it down if there's a petition going on. I don't like, think it will go through because there are so many people who are trying to start up and do their indie games. Yeah. Big. So, like, just all the indie games on Xbox Dashboard, like Minecraft. Like, how huge Minecraft is. Even on Steam. Like, I've got yeah. a lot of your games on Steam. That's Also, um, about, like... Four or five years ago, indie gaming started to become popular. Yeah. Where um, you know, with things like Minecraft, uh, I know I was a big Minecraft fan back in the Beta and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, various companies like um, Top Cap started releasing really short, indie, like independent developers. It's like teams of four or five people yeah. who will create entire games uh, and tons of games like that. And uh, over the past couple of years, though, everyone's kind of jumped on the bandwagon and. Do you guys think that indie gaming is kind of getting saturated now? That's what I. That's what I kind of feel. Like if you look at if you look at Steam, apparently, like I have like 200 indie games on Steam. Oh really? I don't play any of those. Yeah. Sales. I get them all from the humble humble bundle because it's like two cents each. Yeah. Oh. Nice. I didn't I personally wouldn't know about like the oversaturation of that, but that's that's really cool. Like for, for us, for on Xbox Dashboard, we have a lot of video arcade games and. The reason that they're so fun is that they're, they're simple and basic, and even just with uh, not even Xbox, but like apps yeah. on your iPad, on your yeah. iPhone. Plants versus zombies. Well, see, I see a problem with that mainly because like if there's too many of these indie games coming out, then the good ones will never see the light of day. Like they're just gonna go down to the bottom, and it's already so hard for them to advertise themselves because they're indie to begin with. So yeah, like I, I don't know how I feel about that. No, uh, I was going to add this statement about the U.S. Uh, going to add ESRB rating oh, that's uh, really that's smart. Um, You know the, the Supreme Court justice of the Supreme Court in the U.S. Uh, actually ruled on uh, millions of dollars in favor of the They did? Yeah. Oh. So now the, ES, the ESRB rating, because now this doesn't go anywhere. Because uh, yeah, like, the these bills, more, yeah, these bills can be passed, but they'll get filtered out quickly. Okay, so I have a question. Um, like, do any of you guys do beta testing? Yeah, like I did. Uh, like I, I had a chance to for the Old Republic, but I missed out on the email. But I've done for a couple of games, and I've noticed, uh, especially with Guild Wars 2, like you have to pre-order it in order to beta test. Like, is this a new thing? You need to pre-order the game in order to like get to play. Like, it's it's a marketing yeah. thing. So is that are, there are is all everyone doing beta it? Testers. I was one of them. I never had to buy the game. Yeah, exactly. But that that is absolute crap because I want to go test it out, see if I like it. There's a very very small small tight knit community, mostly in North America where we kind of get in all the beta games before anyone even hears about it. Yeah. And that was going to be my next question to you ladies was, what's your what's your most anticipated game in 2013, 2014? Uh -huh. Oh boy. I'll let you start about this. Okay, well, I am super excited for the Bioshock game in it. Yeah. And I have my whole thing pre-ordered, the songbird and everything. It's ordered. <laughs> and also, um, the Skyrim online. Yeah, so. I am really excited yeah. for that. I signed up for the beta yeah, testing too, and email, right? when I went to sign up for it, they brought me to a page that was all like, you've come to the right page. And I'm like, what? No. After I filled out everything, so it's not the newest one. Like, right? No, that's the newest DLC, which so you only the... actually get to ride one dragon. <laughs> what's the new one? <laughs> um, the Skyrim Online is for PC gaming only, and it's all MMO. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so you're talking about Elder Scrolls Online. Okay, you're next. Oh god, um... I, 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 don't, I don't even know. And the new Tomb Raider. The Tomb Raider, yeah, Tomb Raider. Um, if there's any Mortal Kombat coming out, because uh, the recent Mortal Kombat one, I was like... Which one was it called? Like, the Mortal Kombat? It was on like Xbox? And not like... They took away so many combos, and like... Uh, it's just the simple arcade one. Yeah. 
was it? It wasn't no, because they got uh, a lot of the buttons were removed, and like I know Sub Zero had some of his abilities taken off, and Shiva, like uh, when she jumps off the screen and hits the partner, like uh, your opponent, you're not supposed to be able to block that because that's one of the main attacks, and you're able to block it. So I was like, what the hell is this? But yeah, if there's any new Mortal Kombat game coming out, I'd be totally down for that. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not I'm anticipating anything. Yeah, no, my Halo world is still. Halo don't even get me started. Um, <laughs> no, I think I'm done. I'm done. I know. I'm done. I'm done with Halo. Halo, Halo 3 is where it's stopped. Yeah, right. I still play Halo 4, obviously, uh, for, for geek girls. Watch you, Halo come out she'll have that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty, I, Halo 4 is my heart. She'll pitch about it, yeah. but yeah. she'll have it. So maybe Halo 5, I don't know. Maybe she's supposed to be your problem. I would get it, just because it's Questions? Comments? Oh, okay. Yes? You know, something exciting is Tara that I just started playing is free in February. Completely free. And on oh, Happy Wars on Xbox. Happy Wars. Yeah, no, it's Xbox. <laughs> so if you guys play Tara, you know, come play with me. What's Tara? Like, 
like you guys make, you're doing uh, making a video game in your basement right now. I so really hate all those goddamn EA updates too on my PC. Oh. Like I down get them the all the time, and I'm just like, what is it? Down with the DLC. The DLC down. Okay. With that entire scam, it just it's just it's gone. Or no, 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 it's not gone. Oh. It's like, I mean, I hate it just like it's not a movement. Yeah, and I'm just down. like, I'm just like, cancel update. No, no. <laughs> Seriously. You had a question? Uh, I'm just wondering if you girls have watched indie games in the documentary. Indie games and documentary? No, I have no, not. No. Uh, it actually covers Fez and um, Super Meat Boy. Oh, cool. And I think that was the last one. But it basically <laughs> tells the perspective of the developers and how it basically how the deals are made and everything else. Yeah, it's, I so much rather give my money to an indie designer, video you game maker, than whatever. You can get it with the Humble Bundle. Again, I need a PC. <laughs> <laughs> anything else? Uh, fondest early childhood gaming memory. Uh, Pachu, Pachu, uh, Asteroids. Atari. Oh, yeah, Atari. <laughs> Pachu. Yeah. Uh, Pachu. Uh, it was Crossfire and Pac-Man. It's like competing together. Uh, there was another game. It was uh, Duck Hunt. Oh, yeah. Duck Hunt. I think it was on Sega. And I remember I got so frustrated. I'd sit in the back. I'd be shooting these ducks. And I'd be like, Duck Hunt. 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 Duck Hun
<laughs> yes, I'm old. You can stop. I can pretend to be a girl, too. Okay. I'll be waiting for you. All right, any other questions, comments? <laughs> yes. Just in game development and how it's going right now, do you feel that character models will maybe become more friendly slash accurate rather than characters with sides being chest? Oh man, yeah. Well, one thing I've noticed, especially like each volleyball uh, with like uh, online gaming, like the online and like Sims and all that, they have crazy, crazy customizable uh, options for like your character, so you can like change how big you want your bus to be and this and that. Mass effect. Yeah, mass effect. So yeah, like they're being more co uh, conscious about that. Yes. You mentioned Eve. Um, what do you think of Eve and Dust Five Fourteen? I don't know Dust 514. Okay. Eve's the PC. It's yeah. the, the greater space arena. Dust is PS3, free to play, free to buy. It's completely downloadable. It's a first person free shooter to buy. that interacts real time with the space environment. Well, that's what Eve does too. When you're gone for a couple hours, your ship gets all the damage. You have to go back and like right. repair that crap. This is, Dust is the, the, the ground shooter. Yeah. You can call it an orbital, orbital strike, and an Eve player needs to do that. Oh, the two games interact. Yes, in that's real, cool. in real oh, that's time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, whoa. Good. Okay. Good. My phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's something that I want to say, but I can't. Okay, so I'll say it anyways. Okay, so I was a part of a TV show. Um, it's called Defiance. I think, like, the trailer is already out on it. And uh, I was, like, <laughs> I'm playing a guitar. I'm a musician in it with like this alien band. But that game, so basically it's an online game that you play and it's real time, so anything that happens in that game happens in the TV show. So if you like destroy a building, a building will be destroyed next week on the show. So uh, that's like another pretty cool thing that they're doing now. I heard they were different cities. Are they different? No. I heard, I heard the video games uh, San Francisco and the TV show is St. Louis. Really? Yeah. Because uh, when I remember being on the set, they were just like, it's the same thing, and blah, blah, blah. Someone gets killed off in the show, it'll happen in the game, and vice versa. Oh, you mean you guys had to film different things for different video game possibilities? I guess so. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Don't quote me. I'm not sure. Are all stop. But all I know is that they're both, like, uh, they're linked together, like, yeah, whatever, storylines, yeah. Yes? Really, okay, other than like the millions of mini game games that are out there, or like party games and stuff, really bad games that you guys have played. <laughs> really bad. Really oh, bad. Okay. Games. So, um, Xbox, I believe. Uh, my sister and I went to EB Games. We're like, we got like ten bucks to buy a game. Oh, I, I know. We we game. found a game called Pariah, and it's like a knockoff of Halo, and like the glitches are hilarious. You'll shoot a guy and you'll respond in the air or something, or like half in the ground. But you know what? It, it was it was fun. Like it was so bad, but it was fun. So I guess that's what I can think of. Uh, the press save game on Xbox Dashboard. You know what you do in that game? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's all you do. Don't uh, worry. Press A. Game. Press A all the time as fast as you can. <laughs> I I'm not sure. I don't I don't think. You never play the game. You just love even it. By, even when we're playing bad games, we make fun of it, right? So we make it. Well, fun. at first you're you just like, oh, and then it's like you laugh about it after. You're like, you know what? That was funny when I died six times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I makes, think the game that never makes good made videos. Sense yeah. to me was the Dead or Alive Six Street Sports. Oh, <laughs> I do know one. Oh, um, I think it was uh, Resident Evil for like uh, the Wii or something. That game pissed me off, and the Star Wars yeah. game for me because like I couldn't like move the, the paddle properly to use my force, so I kept like dying in battles. I'm like, God, don't put this game for me. Fighting game? Yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was so good. I didn't like it. Oh, I'm one of those people that'll throw my Wii remote to like like in the TV. That's why they have a band. I'm one of those people. Don't worry about it. I have a second question. Alright, what fighting games do you guys like to play? Fighting games? I like the newest one. I think it was, um... Oh my god. 
Like Marvel vs. Capcom or something? Yeah. I think it was. I had, no, it's not the newest one. That's not the newest one. Well, uh, Capcom vs. Tekken. Um, Tekken. Okay, Street so Fighter Cross Tekken. I got three. Uh, Killer Instinct, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, and uh, Mortal Kombat 3. I just I love that one for Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, Soul Calibur. Yes, yeah, thank you. Too, yeah. Five was a travesty. Yes. yes, the dark stuff. But that was the one with uh, Vader and. Uh, no, no, four was the one with Vader, Vader. and Yoda. That was the one with Spawn and Link. That was two. I like that one, but Spawn was. Uh, I think three was the best one. Yeah, two thought they went to the same game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the girls have tried Skullgirls yet? I have. I I like that. What's it called? Skullgirls. Skullgirls? That's right. Is that for Xbox? It's it, a, it is yeah. for Xbox. Um, yeah, they're like anime characters that just like RPG each other. No, they're fun. like super cartoony. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's like, yeah. Especially this one character, uh, Peacock. I don't know you guys, like, I guess it's pertaining to video games. So uh, there's a guy named Monty Om, and he does a series. It's uh, Dead, uh, Dead or Alive and Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's called Dead Fantasy, and there's yeah. six videos on YouTube where they're like, Did you know he works for Rooster Teeth now? Yeah, really? He, got he, 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 he animated the last couple seasons of Red vs. Blue. And he's also right now, he's doing a Red Riding Hood uh, a series. Oh yeah, Ruby. Yeah, looks Ruby amazing. looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any other questions before we wrap this up tonight? Yeah, I'm just Downstairs. Anybody want to do a video game shoot downstairs? Back. Yeah. yeah.